It was a Christmas rebate deal that looked too good to pass up, and many people didn't, only to find out it was a mistake. Delaware correspondent Lauren Wilson is live in Newcastle with the details of this rebate snafu. Lauren. Anita, we are live in front of one of many Radio Shack stores that offered an unbelievable deal on a personal DVD player around Christmas time. A deal that turned into a personal nightmare for those customers who are still waiting on their rebate. Alec, you can't watch TV movies at no! Wow is the reaction Alec DeStefano's dad had when he was told this DVD player selling for $129.99 was available with not one but two rebates. The first for $65, the second for $70. It's simple math even for this 10-year-old. The two rebates meant the DVD player was free with $5.01 going back to the customer. I called and I said, is this a mistake? Is this real? Is this real? Dominic DeStefano says he was convinced the deal was real after making three separate calls and then visiting a Radio Shack store where he was told the very same thing. He purchased five of the DVD players for his family, cut out the barcode on the box and mailed in his forms for the promised rebate only to get a very different story a week later. And they said, we decided to cancel the offer because uh, people are selling them on eBay. I said, it's a week later. That, that, that's not my problem. And DeStefano, an internet guru by trade, wanted to know if other Radio Shack customers felt the same. So he set up a website about the dud DVD deal and got a half a million hits in no time from customers who took Radio Shack up on the double rebate offer. The Radio Shack employee told me about the deal and said, how could you go wrong with this? This statement was sent to Action News from Radio Shack. In it, officials say the $70 rebate was supposed to be replaced by a $65 rebate offer. Quoting now, as soon as the mistake was caught by our people that morning, the expired $70 rebate was pulled off of Radio Shack's website. DiStefano says... This whole rebate thing is, is going to be a problem. I mean, I want to be Santa Claus a couple days before Christmas, not a lawyer. Well, Di Stefano has filed a complaint with the Delaware Division of Consumer Affairs after Radio Shack refused to refund all of his money. In the meantime, Radio Shack says that if a customer can, can prove that they called the company and got some bad information, they'll try to work something out. Live in Newcastle, I'm Lauren Wilson, Channel 6 